Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be setting up my weeklies for the month of June. I haven't really set up my weeklies all at once in a really long time, but I really wanted to get it done this month because it's gonna be really busy and I just wanted it out of the way and I figured I would film it for you guys. So I'm starting out just doing a regular plain old vertical weekly Monday through Friday with Saturday and Sunday kind of taking up one space. I don't really schedule a whole lot of actual tasks on the weekends. I usually just save the weekends for like family time or chill time. So I'm okay with having a much smaller space for Saturday and Sunday. So for decoration on this page, I'm just using some of the scrap papers that I had left over from the paper pack that I used for my June setup. And I used some craft paper from Archer and Olive to do a little mini calendar on the left side and then my morning routine on the right side. And it's just normal things like laundry, make bed, take out dinner for that night, just that kind of stuff. So for this next spread, I'm doing more of a horizontal layout. And again, I combined Saturday and Sunday just to make everything look even. So I'm wondering, do you guys do all of your weeks all at once like at the beginning of the month you set up all four weeks or do you set up at the beginning of every week i go back and forth sometimes i set up all four at the same time and most of the time i set up one week at a time it just gives me an extra chance at the beginning of every week to be just a little bit more creative but if i know i'm just not feeling it i will set up more than one week at a time it definitely makes things a little bit easier when you set them all up at the same time because you don't have to worry about it for another month <laughs>
So I have to admit it was a lot of fun setting up these weekly layouts because it's been a really long time since I've done a full double page weekly. Lately I've been doing like a small little weekly overview and then just like a running task list for each day and it's been working out okay but I've really missed setting up these full-on week spreads with all the decorations and just the different style of boxes and just being extra creative. I've, I've really missed that. And I really love this spread. It's probably one of my favorites. This one and the last one are my favorites. So when I first started bullet journaling, this is the layout that I used every single week for probably a year and a half, <laughs> maybe even two full years. This horizontal layout was perfect for me. On the right side, I would write down my full on to-do list, everything that needed to be done. And then on the left side, I would just write down little notes that I needed or something cool that happened that day, maybe some memories. If it was a birthday, I would do fun fonts and stuff like that to celebrate somebody's birthday and this was like my go-to spread so i'm really really excited about using it this month <laughs> So this is the final spread for this video and this is probably my favorite. I don't know if it's because of the way that the decorations are on the page that this one and the other one that has the same sort of layout, the, those are my two favorites. I think it's just the fact that I could use these cool embellishments like the butterfly on this one and then the yoga girl on the other one. I love that one. <laughs> it's such a cute sticker. I also really liked being able to use my markers more because I feel like since I'm not drawing as much as I used to, I don't get to use my markers as much, but my hands have been hurting so bad that I can't really draw as much as I used to. So thank goodness for scrapbooking supplies because that has really been where it's at for me lately. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.